Hey, good morning, y'all. Hey, good news. Jesus is Lord. The word works, but you got to work it. <clears throat> now, Proverbs 18, 19 says, life and death are in the power of the tongue. The power of your tongue is even going to determine how long you live. I've got a long life promise to me, at least 120 years. Uh, so I, that's what the Bible teaches. All you got to do is read the Bible, not that 70 that other people think. Well, now, your words set on fire the course of nature for you, but they also have a tremendous influence over other people. Now, <clears throat> I wrote down several scriptures here. I mean, I, I can't do this in a day, but I'm going to work on it. Uh, you remember the story where God was delivering the children of Israel, and he brought them up to the, you know, to the Red Sea, got them out, he got over to the Promised Land, and when they got there, he, they asked, and so he allowed them to send 12 spies in there. And when they came back, two of them said, Joshua and Caleb, and I'm reading from Numbers uh, chapter 13, verse 30, and Caleb stilled the people before Moses and said, let us go up at once and possess it, for we are well able. <clears throat> but the other 10 spies, they said, verse 31, um, they made this statement. They said, but the men that went up with us said, we be not able to go up against the people for they're stronger than we are. Now watch this. They were both moved by what they saw. <laughs> Joshua and Caleb was moved by the promises of God and he that was in them, he that's within me is greater than he that's within the world. And they said, we're well able. They stilled the people and said, we're well able. Let's do it right now. Let's go. We can do this. But then the other people said, we cannot. They were moved by what they saw because they chose to see the giants in the land and the obstacles. I like what Charles Capps used to say, the obstacles in the land, and they weren't able. Now, let me read on here because I want you to see this. Verse 32, and they brought up an evil report of the land which they had searched in the children of Israel, saying, the land, this is what they said, the land though which we have gone to search it does. It's a land that eateth up in the inhabitants thereof, and all the people that we saw were great giants. An evil report is something that's contrary to the promise of God. Now, <clears throat> there's a whole lot in this. I was going to try to do it in a day. it would take me two or three. So watch, Joshua and Caleb said, we are well able. Let's go. Let us go up at once. We can do this. The other 10 said, we be not able. Now notice there's only one word different there. Okay, watch one. We be able, and the others said, we be not able. And the majority was wrong. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sometimes the majority, just because more people vote one way than the other, doesn't make it right. Now, I'm, I'm talking about biblical principles here. So these 10 were moved by what they saw, and they came back and they brought up an evil report, which was contrary to the word of God, the promises of God. And the other two, Joshua and Caleb, said, we be able. So the difference, there's just one word. We be able, let's go up at once, or we be not able, and we can't do it. And then they brought up a lying, evil report. An evil report, even though the majority is saying it, don't make it right. Come on, preach now, Frank. So your words are with power not only for you, but for the rest of them. Now, the two million Jews, from two to three million is what historians tell us, died in the wilderness because, wilderness because of the words of the ten. So the bad words, evil reports, bad things that you can say can hurt others as well as hurt you. Now, I'm going to get into the depth of that tomorrow, but watch this. But the two that said we'd be able, 45 years later, <laughs> old Caleb says, just like God gave me the promise 45 years ago, this is in Joshua, I believe it's chapter 18. He said, just like God gave me the promise, he said, my natural strength abates not. I am well able today. He said, now give me my mountain. So the word that he said caused him to stay young, caused his strength to be renewed so that 45 years later, he was still able to act on and receive the promises of God while all the rest of them died out there. Your words are with power for you, but the 10 spies that brought up the evil report, I'll read this to you tomorrow, caused the people's heart to melt and they backed off and never did go into the promises of God. Hey, I got to go. Let me get into this tomorrow because your words... They, they make life and death for others as well. Have a great day. Until I'm with you tomorrow, saints, remember all day. Hey, Jesus is Lord. Thank God. Hey, the word works.